What I have into my heart. David de Livingston had love for people. One man's dream to establish a museum for well-known explorer, missionary and adventurer Dr. David Livingston received the boost when the Wanderoo Museum at Sangwali was recently upgraded. The upgraded museum, made of bricks and corrugated iron roof, is home to various artifacts like pictures and maps painted on canvas to tell the stories and travels of Livingston from Kuruman in South Africa to Sangwali, where he resided before going deeper into Central Africa. Sangwali is a small village about 130 kilometers west of Katima Melilu in the Sambesi region. Yeah, what is important is history. And is home to Linus Mokwata, founder of the David Livingston Museum. David de Livingston had love for people. That is my understanding. You find that even when, when you read his books, most of the times he was referring to the Bible. Most of the time he was referring to God. So for me, he, I don't see any way in his uh, writings where he said something against other people. He was trying to give advices, creating peace. That is my understanding. So we must follow that way of living. If we live in peace, then we have peace in the whole world. Livingston was more than a missionary and aimed to abolish slavery in Africa especially among stronger tribes who enslaved weaker and smaller clans. He sought to improve the lives of those in Africa by bringing Christianity and commerce to the continent. However, he was less successful in evangelizing than in his fight against slavery. Livingston will also be remembered for naming Victoria Falls when he and some of his aides came across the natural wonder, then known in the Tonga language as Mosi Utunya, the smoke that thunders in 1855. Mukwata and his partner Arul Weidelich established a museum, not only to preserve the history of Livingston, but to offer tourists more to see and to do than game drives and visiting traditional villages. A teacher by profession and a member of the Mayeyi tribe, Mukwata said he felt morally obliged to preserve the history that his father told him as a child. Speaking to Nampa at the museum shortly after its official opening, he said it is more than a building, it unites people. The value of this museum is one day I will not be there. Some of our grandparents are no more here. Some of our parents are dying one by one. And if we don't keep the photographs of our parents, if we don't keep the history of our parents, if we don't keep areas where they used to do farming and all that, we will get lost. So my understanding is, once we keep this information in the museum, those who will come behind us after 50 years or after 100 years, they will know who was Francois. Who was Linus Mukwata? Vice King Lishas Mufalali from the Mayeyi Traditional Authority described the opening as a momentous event as it will unite all people visiting his area. Mufalali was addressing about a hundred guests and members of the diplomatic corps through an interpreter. Ambassador Jana Ebeskova from the European Union delegation to Namibia said during the official opening the EU wants to work with all people from Namibia. We are very happy that we can work with Yayi people and with people of Zambezi. We are not only sitting in Windhoek. We do support Nai Nai San Conservancy. We wish to work with Himbas. We wish to work with Yayi people. We have a project supporting Nama people. So we are here for all different peoples of Namibia. Apart from the historical place at Sangwali, where Livingston and Chief Sebetwani had several dinners at the exact location, several maps inside tell stories of the once fearless missionary who never raised his muzzle loader, an ancient rifle, against any human being. Livingston died at the age of 60 in 1873 in Chief Chitambu's village at Ilala, southeast of Lake Benguelu in present-day Zambia, 
from malaria and internal bleeding due to dysentery. The European Union, in collaboration with the Namibia Scientific Society, supported the upgrade of the museum, including road signs on how to get to this place.